In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my first impressions on Zangari Man Coconut Nanas. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're looking for information on things related to wet shaving, you've come to the right place. If you wind up enjoying what you see here, please be sure to hit that like button and please consider becoming a subscriber so you don't miss any new videos. So for today's shave, we'll be taking a look at a upcoming scent from Zingari Man. This one here is Coconut Nanas and it is a collaboration with Rirata Perfumes, which is based out of Malaysia. And this one, along with the Recovery Splash here, you can see it. it's got featuring notes of coconut, pineapple, and peach. And this one is dropping on Tuesday, June 15th at 9 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So Coconut Nanas I first smelled uh, from a little sample I got when I ordered Barrel Proof and I was really just blown away and um, really interested in what I was getting out of you know, the small sample tub. So you know, if we open this one up here, you can see the fresh pour. This is featured in a newly updated vegan base for Zangari Man. So on top of the scent, uh, this will be my first impressions on this updated vegan base. So just, yeah, I mean, what I'm getting off the tub here is just this really, you know, sweet pineapple, um, coconut vibe. Despite the name bananas, uh, that's not in reference to any bananas in here. Although it is a tropical fruity scent, I would you know, dare I say gourmand because the good thing is it's not too sweet, at least off the tub, but we'll get more into the scent. We'll lather up and see if anything changes. But you know, right out of the gate, I just I kind of just want to keep sniffing the tub. This in some ways is what summer smells like. So we'll be using this in just a little bit, as well as the matching splash, which I showed you before. But let me show you what else we'll be using in today's shave. First up for the razor, we're going with the Charcoal Goods Everyday Razor. This is a stainless steel razor. Uh, Charcoal Goods, I believe, is uh, hoping to be back you know, at up and running um, after a move and some delays. So hopefully before the end of the year, we'll start seeing you know, some more Everyday Razors, some more um, other options in the mix. I'm not quite up to date on what's going on there exactly, but this Everyday Razor, uh, it kind of fits right in my wheelhouse as far as what I prefer. It is smooth and surprisingly efficient for said smoothness. And we have it loaded up with a fresh Gillette Nasset blade. So that's the Charcoal Goods Everyday. And for my brush, I need to kind of show off a brush adjacent product that just came in the mail today. Uh, this is a brush soaker, or you know, it could just be a coffee mug, honestly. But uh, this is from Thirsty Badger up in Canada. Recently, I was able to do an interview with Jared uh, along with Gerard for Lather Talk. And I don't know, this is just some you know, beautiful ceramic wear. He has shaving bowls as well, but since I'm not primarily a shave bowl user, I want I saw this guy and really want to pick this up. You can see my brush soaking here. This is a Wild West brush works, <laughs> dripping with water. Uh, I thought kind of, it's got a little bit of a kind of like an island beach vibe, so that's why I went with this one. You can see I just let the water drip a little bit, so I can show you the coin. Oops. And I also want to show you the pattern inside the cup here. Pardon me if the, the lighting is not the best. Just some really great work here. Brush soaker, coffee mug, all of the above. That's what we're going with brush stuff wise. I'm working with two days worth of growth. A bit of a close up for those who don't believe me. <laughs> So that's what we're working with. Let me go now and load up the brush and we'll get to the face lather and talk more about the scent of coconut nanas. So there we go with the brush loaded up and onto the face lather. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the scent. First off, for the scent strength, I would say 
This is about a five or six out of 10. A medium or a hair above medium. I would say this is probably one on the, on the stronger side as far as uh, the scents in Zingari Man's lineup goes. And as I mentioned, this, this has beach vibes. And the notes that are listed you know, around the lid of the soap here, uh, they are once again, coconut, pineapple, and peach. So yeah, there's definitely that pina colada vibe. Uh, coconut, pineapple, besides, you know, kind of tropical umbrella drinks, also um, calls to mind suntan lotion. Overall, I would say this is a really straightforward scent. I don't think I would use the words complex, but it is very likable. It is very pleasant. There's nothing in here as far as like a floral goes or I don't know, other, other stuff you, you see flanking tropical fruits sometimes. So it does make it a fairly straightforward you know, food gourmand scent. And I would say, you know, gender wise, it's always a little, it can be a little tricky, uh, you know, how you want to categorize stuff, but I would say this actually is unisex. This could be enjoyed by both men and women. And the sweetness is not overwhelming. It's not like a super saccharine, like candy version, but I would say, you know, it's definitely more on the naturalistic side as far as how the scent is representing those fruits. I do think it's a funny coincidence that uh, a number of warm weather scents that I've used recently are all really, really nice scents that kind of hit, you know, hits uh, you know, that warm weather or summer scent category in different ways. Uh, the ones I'm thinking about in particular are Sterling Campania, which uh, that was a dupe of Aqua de Parma, Fico de Amalfi. So it's got like that fig and greenness in there. Another really you know banger of a scent is Seaforth, Sea Spiced Lime, and that's a lime that has kind of like a oceany, uh, salty sea air vibe in the background. And then I, I would add this one to the list too. And in general, I am just a big fan of kind of, kind of the warm weather scents. They're very happy scents and call to, call to mind I don't know, just really you know, really positive images. Summer vacation, time at the beach, relaxing, swimming the swimming in the ocean, swimming in the pool, whichever whichever you prefer. Just some good stuff. Positive associations. And it's kind of funny too that um, in enjoying these scents, it's kind of turned me back on to just catching up on things in the fragrance world, seeing what's out there, maybe discovering some new, discovering some new YouTubers in the fragrance community. This could be trouble. It could be trouble. Yes, yes. But I firmly believe in sampling first and not blind buying. I will say if a fragrance is like $30 or below and it sounds good, I'll probably take that risk. But otherwise I try to get a sample if, or if a buddy has it to try to get my nose on a scent before pulling the trigger. All right, so I'm all lathered up here and I was trying to, besides, you know, chatting with you guys, try to pay attention to how this new base performs, but I would say, I don't know, it's uh, having just used the Sago base, I, I would say it kind of performs very similarly as far as thirst level and whatnot, but let's see how, yeah, let's see how like, you know, slickness and all that other stuff goes. Honestly, I'm not too worried. I am not someone who chases uh, soap bases. But this does seem to kind of fall in line with Sago and a lot of the other low volume, low structure um, shave soaps that a lot of the artisans um, are producing right now.
I actually haven't used this razor in a bit, so. It's nice getting reacquainted. I discovered the, the everyday razor after borrowing it. I think I used it shortly after I tried and fell in love with the Blackbird Titanium from Blackland. And in some ways, there's, they share similarities. This is not a super heavy razor. It's got a hollow handle. Um, I don't have the exact weight, um, that number on me right now, but I'll be sure to add it in so you guys can see the weight of the razor. It's light without being too light. And again, I, I found this one to be kind of stupid efficient in that it's very smooth. There's not a whole lot of blade feel, but it gets the job done. And if you go too fast, it could kind of nip you a little bit. So anyway, first pass is done. Let me rinse up here and we'll uh, lather up for the second pass. When I was rinsing off just now, I did notice that um, just the feel on my fingers, uh, certain, certain vegan soaps that actually I really like, um, Southern Witchcrafts comes to mind, um, Highland, Highland Springs. Um, the soaps have you know, a lot of ingredients, butters and whatnot to help with the post shave. And, and that's a bit of what I was getting, so even like on my fingertips here. There's some of that good butter <laughs> feeling on my fingertips. All that's to say, I'll be sure to uh, use the leftover lather and probably let it rest on my face a little bit before we totally wrap up the shave. That way, the hope is to fully you know, get the full benefits of, of these. Oh, all these nicer soaps. All right, let's go in for that second pass. Now it is a little tricky talking as far as like the timing of things. Uh, the hope is to have this video edited and, and uploaded on the day of the release. Again, Tuesday, June 15th. On the Zingari Man website. So it should be the day of. I do apologize if you're getting to this later after the release, but I don't think the numbers, the quantity is extremely limited. At the same time, I don't, I don't think this soap, um, I, I think it's being treated like a summer seasonal. So if you are, if you're thinking about buying it, I, I wouldn't wait till, you know, past, past the summer season. And while I didn't go into my normal disclosure, it's because I, I did, it feels weird to say it, but I, yes, I got early access to the soap, but um, I did purchase the soap and splash. Just in case that wasn't clear. I know a few cute content creators on YouTube and Instagram and whatnot, were able to pick up coconut nanas a little bit early. In typical fashion, I'm just cutting it really close to, to the release date. All right, second pass against the grain. Also, really no issues. I think the more of the newer vegan soaps I try. Another one I really liked recently was A&E, uh, Ariana and Evans, their shave butter. I was really blown away by um, that soap when I used it. I, th I think, you know, these guys, uh, this, this, soap, this vegan soap included, if you do a double blind test, I really don't think most shavers are gonna know the difference between vegan and tallow at this point. But we're lathered for a cleanup pass here. I 
Now granted, this is a first impressions video, so I'll be using the soap to get, uh, I'll be using the soap more to get more acquainted with it, but just out of the gate, I'm lathering and using it like I would the, the Sago base, which is a tallow base, and just seemingly getting really, really excellent results here. Yeah, all right, let's rinse up and we'll get to the, the post shave and finish things up. All right, so face is feeling good. The, just this feeling around my face even now. Yeah, it feels like buttery smooth. So I think using that leftover lather was, was the right thing to do, I think. But I do love this recovery splash. So you know, we've got this, oh, I forgot to mention this label right here. And over here, more importantly, uh, we have fellow YouTuber and wet shaving enthusiast, Shaving with Raza. Uh, to thank for that design. He's been doing some bang up work. He did uh, the dual barrel proof, which I had just covered, and also did, uh, for Zingari, uh, did the Merchant. And, I mean, I, I think Raza's just doing a great job with design, has a great eye. So keep it, keep it up, Raza, great work here. Yeah, it's funny, scent memory, mental images and stuff like that. It's a really funny thing and it's, and scent is so subjective and I do think that scent memory portion really makes certain, certain scents, certain notes pop for people. So besides, you know, that suntan lotion, besides like a pina colada, summer associations, one other funny association that just popped in my head right now as I was putting on um, the post shave was I think just memories of like, late elementary school, middle school, um, getting haircuts um, from my barber at the time. And uh, they would use um, like, like finishing products with like hair gel or whatever, but had this like really nice, like I think it's a mousse because it's kind of foamy and it's coconut scented. That, that's, that's a little bit of what I'm getting to. And I mean, you know, positive associations, but I just really like that scent as well. Um, that might be why I just like coconut in general, but and like coconut candies and coconut desserts. But man, it's that's just another you know another uh, thing to add to the list of uh, things that are making me really really enjoy the scent. And uh, we're gonna have to come back at the end of the season because um, I'm wondering which of these summer of these summer bangers uh, is gonna you know be the, the best one out of it. But either way. I'm really enjoying this one. So, you know, we've been using coconut nanas. Uh, how do you guys feel about, you know, tropical fruity scents? Uh, do you have like, there's a uh, you know, Sterling Island Man, uh, which is a dupe of Creed Virgin Island Water. That kind of gives similar vibes as well. But for some reason, I'm liking, like, this is more straightforward in nature. That um, Island Man is, has more, more stuff going on, whether it's like sandalwood or some florals. But I'm really liking what's going on here in Coconut Nana's. Maybe the thing to do is to do a shootout, like you know, like a half shave um, with the Zingari set and a half shave with with Island Man. I don't know if that's something you want to see. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, this has been a really great overall shave. Quick recap: um, charcoal goods, everyday razor. Haven't used this in a while, but you know, really enjoyed it. The NASA blade, uh, it's actually the NASA blade uh, after doing, um, getting a few sample blades from tryablade.com, I went ahead and picked up uh, a bulk order of that. Basically all I do is once I found a blade that I liked, after trying like two or three of them, I'll check Amazon, check eBay, see where there's a reputable you know, seller and who has the best price. That's kind of the way I do it. And just really the bottom line for Coconut Nanas, this gets my stamp of approval. Um, really, really lovely scent. Again, I think both men and women 
will enjoy it. It's really easily likable. I guess if you're not into quote unquote like basic sense or gourmand sense, this might not be for you. But otherwise, if you're looking for something fruity, something summery that's not too sweet, uh, this this is gonna be a good option. So that's gonna do it for today's video though, guys. I wanna thank you guys so much always for your support, for the time that you took out of your day to join me for this shave. I hope you guys found the information useful and I also hope that you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Take care.